एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल आई एम भावना सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोन सी हाउ वी कैन जनरेट अ रिपोर्ट विद इन द डैशबोर्ड बाय जस्ट सिंपली आस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन इस यू हर्ड इट राइट वी कैन क्रिएट अ रिपोर्ट विद इन द डैशबोर्ड सो माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड सीन हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ डैशबोर्ड बाय स्क्रैच इन दैट वी हैव लर्न हाउ वी कैन पिन अ पर्टिकुलर विजुअलाइजेशन और अ इंटायर रिपोर्ट इन द डैशबोर्ड Uh, so today we'll see how we can uh, generate a report within the dashboard itself few steps which we need to follow in order to uh, achieve the same so for any further delay let's get started so i have logged into app.powerbi.com and this is my home screen uh, so in my previous video i used uh i created this dashboard which i'm going to open again my prod first of all we'll create a duplicate copy of this dashboard i do not want to alter here so i'll give this name my prod info duplicate <clears throat> the copy has been created so as you can see here my prod info has been uh, opened so first of all uh, in order to create a visual within the dashboard first of all we need to check this setting as you can see here ask a question is enable here if not then we have to go under settings and if it is off we have to make it on since it is already uh, by default it is on whenever we are creating any dashboard so it is like that So now once you click here you can see here there are some uh, keywords there are some phrases which are already available and uh, here you can see product info so this is nothing but it's a data set from which uh, we are getting the data so again I'll exit and I'll show uh, we had seen before how we can see related the uh, report and data sets here so here you can find this information what is the data set behind the dashboard so that's why you can see this particular uh, data set information where we have some uh, phrases some keywords available financial uh, profit year so it is purely based on your data so power bi is uh, intelligent enough to you know uh, create these phrases so now if you want to use these phrases and if you want to create uh, some visuals so i'll select uh, this phrase profit it will take a few moment so by selecting this uh, particular field profit we are just getting this thing into a number since this is the only single thing we have selected if we want we have to click uh tab and there are some more couple of uh, uh, things fields you can see for this so as per your need we can see so we want to see profit sales price again we'll go back So we are choosing this particular phrase gross sale by sales price again by unit sold again by profit. So you can see this particular visual has been automatically created uh, only by selecting these particular phrases which are already available. So it is not like that we are. writing any phrase or we have to think about it uh, now what the filter i need to add so you can see this particular visual has been created so now as soon as uh, we hit uh, these uh, queries you can see fields and visualization uh, tabs uh, has been enabled just to modify if you want to modify so just we need to select this so based on this particular selection we can 
change our uh, visualization which is a uh, i think it's a great feature so it is purely based on your uh, data which you have uh, asked for so i'll remove some of the questions so gross sell by sales price by unit sold and now i'll change my visualizations okay and also as you can see here there are uh, fields which uh, has been uh, checked based on your selection gross sale sales price unit sold also if you want you can add uh, some filters but we are good to go we do not want to uh, add any filters at this moment so once this is done now what we have to do in order to pin this visual is pin visual and then again it will ask where you want to pin this particular uh, visual or you can say a report to the dashboard so now we'll choose the existing dashboard information pin so this has been pinned now we'll go and exit the q and a and we'll see where it is pinned so at the bottom you can see this particular visual has been pinned so now this is another great way to uh, pin any particular uh, element within the dashboard so in my previous video we have uh, seen uh, uh, the different way uh, so today we had uh, learned how we can uh, ask a question and how we can generate a report we can modify this report and we can go and uh, get this pin to be attached in a dashboard i hope you find this video to be helpful and if you have any query and questions about this particular tutorial please do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit subscribe and like this channel it means a lot to me and uh, yeah have a nice day and thank you so much.